Wallets. The English Oxford Dictionary defines wallets as a pocket-sized flat folding case for holding money and plastic cards. But what if I told you that this definition is outdated? What is up guys, my name is Tosif Hussain and today we're talking about the best wallet money can buy right now. Now wallets have traditionally been seen only as one kind. You know you have that folding wallet pretty much like the, the definition described. We can't leave the house without our wallet because it usually has our driver's license, our ID cards, our uh, methods of payment, everything. However, in today's day and age, wallets have changed so much um, and that's because of technology, right? There's just so many points cards and even things like Apple Pay or Android Pay or Samsung Pay, all your credit cards being stored on your phone where you don't even need to take that many cards outside. So definitely there is a changing dynamic in the way that wallets are being used. I mean, compare and contrast to the um, the wallet that maybe our older generation used to carry right have you seen the size of these things now this for sure is not only going to increase the amount of unorganized stress in your life but it's for sure horrible for your posture and your back so i personally went on a mission to see what the best wallet for me is and maybe it works for you too so without further ado, this is my review of the Andar Pilot. Number one, size. I was looking for a wallet that's neither too bulky nor too skinny where my cards won't even fit inside. In terms of the Andar Pilot, I think this is one area that the wallet really excels in. It's the perfect size. The only downside, however, I see to the size of this wallet is this middle compartment that you see here. Now, this middle compartment fits about five to six cards. And the downside is that it's predetermined. Right, so say that you only have three cards that you carry on a regular basis. Now, you're still stuck with the five to six slots that are already pre-fitted inside. However, I don't think it's gonna make that big of a difference because the profile is already super slim. Number two, ease of use. Now, your cards need to be accessible quickly and efficiently in order to get some of that quick pay action, right? especially to ease all that stress from your arm, you know, from all that swipe, swipe. In terms of ease of use, this wallet wins. It's just super easy. You just gotta click the button, take the card you want and pay with it. Now you have two other quick access components as well, allowing you to get to two specific or three specific cards that you need in the quickest amount of time possible. Number three, segregation. There needs to be just enough separate components to allow some level of organization that would make it effective for you to get to certain cards specifically. Such as if you commute to work, such as myself, then you need to have your train or bus pass, you need to have your work pass or your home pass accessible quickly. Um, also, you wanna have your cash accessible. With this wallet, this was made super easy as well. You've got a dedicated compartment here just for putting one card which you will likely be using the most. Then you also have a compartment at the back as well which is dedicated to store money or for what I do is I also keep another card or two plus some business cards here. Um, usually because I don't really carry too much money on me. And couple this with the fact that the swing action on this thing doesn't just shoot up all your cards as one, but instead it shoots it up in a staggered formation, which makes a huge difference. This allows ultimate segregation in such a small package. You have access to each and every card specifically, and you can use the specific one that you require every time without much hunting. That's pretty awesome. The fourth category is safety. 
Now, in today's day and age, there's just so much technology that you hear about on the news uh, that people are using to steal other people's identities, people are using to steal other people's credit cards and personal information in general. And that's becoming a key concern for everybody. So definitely having some of that RFID protection, having some protection where your cards won't just slip out or your cash just won't fall out, that's super paramount. And in this aspect, this wallet does the job just fine. But there is one aspect of this where I can give a knock on this wallet. In terms of card safety, this wallet is brilliant. It's got an RFID protective casing around which the leather wraps, which allows the cards to be safe and sound inside. Now, some of you may be asking, Tosif, what the heck is an RFID casing? So an RFID blocking wallet like this one is basically a wallet that is designed to insulate your information and your cards from a very specific brand of electronic pickpocketing, which is called RFID skimming. You see a lot of these credit cards and even driver's licenses nowadays come with this chip called radio frequency identification chips. And basically that's what RFID stands for. And basically people can walk around with these devices where if they just bring it near your wallet, kind of like, you know, how you tap your credit card on a pay terminal. So people can just steal your information by walking by you having these machines. So an RFID casing is meant to prevent that from happening. Also, in terms of slippage for your cards and money, the only area where I can give a knock on this wallet is the way you store your money. And that's just the way this wallet is made. And if you see many other non-folding wallets, they're the same way. They just have a kind of like a money clip. Um, I mean, it does the job. However, it doesn't feel too safe. And last but not least, number five is quality. You wanna make sure that the materials of your wallet are top notch. It's the wallet is made with good quality materials. You wanna make sure that the stitching is really good so that over time it just doesn't come apart and you know, your wallet starts falling apart and you need another one. Uh, so materials and quality is super important. So in terms of this wallet specifically, it's made of aluminum and full grain leather. The leather has a really nice feel to it. However, please do keep in mind that it does wear over time, as does any other leather wallet or leather product. Also, the stitching looks pretty strong. I haven't had any issues where the stitching has come apart. However, I have had a few threads come out which I've needed to cut. The only doubt I have in terms of quality for this wallet is how smooth the lever will be over time. If you are anything like me, you'll love fidgeting with this wallet quite a bit. I have been using it for quite some time though now, and I've still not had any issues in terms of it becoming rusty or it becoming worn out. Okay guys, public service announcement. I actually like this product so much that I reached out to Andar and I was like, hey guys, I really wanna work with you guys. I wanna do some giveaways on my channel. What do you guys think? So Andar was kind enough to work with me and I'm gonna be giving away not one, not two, not three, but five Andar Pilot wallets. That's right, you heard that right. Five Andar Pilot wallets in any color of your choice delivered straight to your doorstep. So I'm gonna really try to simplify this process for you guys to enter this giveaway. All you guys gotta do is scroll down to the description down below in this video and hit that link. I'm gonna leave it right up there in caps lock so you guys don't miss it. And then once you hit that link, it's gonna take you to this page where you can do a few things to enter this giveaway. So make sure you do every single one of them and that's gonna give you the best chance possible. Now keep in mind, I only got about like 2,000 subscribers so far. So your chances of winning are pretty good. All right guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it beneficial. If you're in the market for a wallet, then I think this is one of the best wallets money can buy right now. That being said, thank you so much for joining me. And if you like this video, then please go ahead and crush that like button. If you like content around tech, gadgets, and filmmaking, then please go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And as usual, I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Make sure you enter the giveaway in many ways as possible and hopefully may the force be, may the odds be ever in your favor. And share with your friends or maybe not if you want to be selfish and try to win all these for yourself. But um, 